welcome to my video about Python Folium. Folium is a very powerful library which combines the, the strength uh, Python has with, with data and the visualization and mapping features of Leaflet.js. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with Folium and that's why I want to create a series out of it. Just one example, imagine you're a city and you have public transportation uh, you can just display them on an interactive map, like display where your current buses are located. Another example is interactive crime map maps, like this one from San Francisco, where you can see which in which quarters how many crimes were committed. And if you dig in more details, you can see which crimes are committed, how many in which areas, and so on. So cool stuff, isn't it? And there is even more. Let's start small. So in the first video of the series, I want to show you how to create routes with markers, with custom markers and uh, with attachments to those markers, like uh, like I did here for my uh, latest walk with my dog Django. But I think it's a very powerful tool. You can use it to document your next road trip with pictures, your next vacation, your next hike and so on. All right, let's start. So I'm using geojson.io here, uh, which allows you to create certain JSON coordinates here. So first of all, let's look for the location where I took my walk. Let's move to satellite mode. And uh, that's it. I think I parked my car somewhere here and then started the walk. So I parked here and then went over this way somehow until here and then cross the field and then moved across the forest here. I think it was somehow like this, back to the road and then back to my car. And basically uh, GeoJSON generates those coordinates for you and you can just uh, mark them all and export them and create a file out of this. Um, so I'm just using my editor here, creating a document walk, JSON, uh, and put this in. Let me check if this is the right format. It's not walk JSON like this. Okay. Uh, and uh, so next to my walk JSON file, which basically now contains the coordinates, um, I have created a logo, which I will use as a custom marker on where I took picture of, uh, pictures of Django. And uh, I want to attach images to those markers. All right, let's jump into the code. Um, let me create a new script here. And first of all, as always, import Folium. So after importing Folium, as always, let's create our map. Uh, folium dot map with a location, and I already copied the coordinates. And a zoom start of 17. Um, and let's just save it as index.html. So actually, I'm not using Jupyter uh, Notebooks this time because I have some trouble currently. So uh, next time I will um, use Jupyter again. But in this case, uh, I will do it the old fashioned way with just a Python script. Uh, let's let's actually run it. Um, so and have a look at the output. Ah, oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong folder. Uh, script.py. Let's run it. And it's finished. Let's open it with Chrome. And we can see our map is being generated here. All right, let's go back to our script and do a couple of things. So first of all, we will load in our walk. Actually, it's still not the right format. Let's rename it. Just JSON data, okay. Um, so let's read in the, the walk JSON. Um, and 
uh, for this, of course, we need the OS module. So let's import OS and let's create a new variable walk data equals OS path join and read in the walk.json data. Now actually Folium has a built-in functionality to read and display those JSON coordinates called GeoJSON. So we can just call this by using folium.geojson. Um, handing over the walk data, which we defined here, and giving it a name. Uh, and then, as always, add it to our map. Let's see how that looks. Let's execute script. And check our index HTML. And as you can see here, uh, it got uh, mapped or, or it gets displayed on our map. And actually, there is a way I quite not hit it 100%, but it's okay. Uh, so we got the basic route of our walk with, with Django here. And now as a next step, we just need to add the markers, which I already showed you how this work, uh, worked in the previous video, but I will do it again in this case here. When, uh, because it's slightly different when attaching uh, pictures to the mark pop-ups. All right, so let's create our markers. So this uh, stays as it is. And um, basically we will do things a little bit differently than within the last video. So in this video, we will define a global tooltip because for all the markers, I want to display the, the, uh, the same tooltip to click to see picture. And we need to define an HTML string. Um, this is important because uh, in the marker pop-up, we want to display a picture. And this um, works via iframe, um, via the folium iframe. And the picture is in PNG format and encoded in base64. So um, we, we need to encode it um, to be able to display it. So if you need more details on base64 and encoding, decoding stuff, just um, mention it in the comments. Perhaps I can do another video um, only about this. but. This will somehow make this session too long, so I will just enter the, the string here. And please don't get confused. So emgsrc equals data. It's an image uh, of type PNG encoded in base64. Like this. And format. So this is our global HTML string. And now, basically, we start with um, our um, pictures. So picture one, picture one equals, and now we have to import base64. So from base64, we are using b64 encode. And we are opening our picture now from the, the images folder here. Uh, so images one PNG. And we read the bytes RB. Uh, uh, read the image and of course at the end decode it. Okay, so we loaded our picture into the picture one variable, and now we can create an iframe. For this, we need to, from Folium, import iframe separately. Let's do it like this. So, and let's call it iframe one, I'll call the iframe object, and use our HTML string and wrap the picture inside the picture one, of course. Uh, and the iframe, we have to define a width and a height. So um, let's define it as all pictures are in 600 times 400 or 400 times uh, 600. The first one is uh, 600 times 400. So let's define the width as 600 plus a little bit extra space and the height as 
400 plus a little bit extra space. Now let's also define our pop-up one outside the marker. Pop-up one equals because basically now we have to specify a folium pop-up and within the pop-up we now hand over our iframe here uh, which we defined up front and uh, we should give it a max width that it doesn't increase the screen to 650. Okay, uh, what's still missing is the icon. So as icon one, we will create a folium icon of color red and an icon of glyphicon home to choose a nice uh, icon here. Now we can define the marker. So marker one equals a folio marker with a location of, and this is basically the location where I parked my car. So the very first one here. And notice here longitude and latitude are switched in the order. Um, within GeoJSON IO, so I have to do it the other way around, like this. Um, so after we have our location, we can specify our pop-up, which we defined here, so pop-up one. Um, did I write it correctly? Yes. Um, so on the tool tip, which we defined as a global tool tip here on top, tool tip, and our icon, which we defined here, icon one. Did I miss anything? I hope not. Ah, yes, I missed something. So of course we have to add it to our map. And afterwards save the map as index HTML. Let's run it and see what it brings. So let's run the script. Hope I didn't do any errors, it works. And let's refresh our page. And as you can see, we got a new marker here with our nice Glyphicon home screen. We have a tooltip click to see picture. And when we click it, we actually see our picture. So actually here I parked our car and you see Django within the trunk. Okay, let's move on to our second marker. Okay, so for our second marker, we can basically just copy the things we did for our first marker. So Let's do it like this, copy this, make this a two for all our variables. And of course a two here because we want to load in the second picture, uh, which we want to wrap into the iframe, which we want to wrap into the pop-up. Um, and for the icon, we will do a slight change because um, um, let's create custom icons for pictures uh, of Django here. So let's do changes from folium icon, icon to folium features custom icon. And here we don't need to define a color, but uh, a pass to the picture. So logo, P, logo 2 PNG actually it is. Um, and we have to specify a size of 60 CR. Uh, it's with brackets 60, like this. Um, so furthermore, we need to change it here in the marker. So we have to change it to pop up two, tooltip is global, and to icon two, and add it to M. Let's save it and run it, and hope it works. Oh. I did something wrong here. Ah, it's not size actually, it's icon size. Sorry for that. So let's try it again. And it worked. So let's move back to our index HTML, refresh it. And ah, okay, I forgot to change uh, the location. So um, actually I didn't take the picture of Django here directly at the starting point. Um, I did it somewhere else, so let's take further uh, a further location, this one here perhaps. 
and exchange it here in the marker like this. And let's give it one more try. Go back to our map. And yes, perhaps here I took the picture and you can see it. So let's move to our last marker and basically it's again the same. Let's copy all this stuff here. Let's um, change the variable to picture three because we are loading the third picture. We have a third iframe where we wrap our third picture into it. Uh, we have a third pop-up where we put our third iframe in and we have a third icon. Basically this, I don't need to change it because, but, but, but I will just do it. But actually it, I will not change it. I could also use icon two here or my, make it a global variable or something like this to make things more easy. But for now, let's keep it like this. Um, and we define a marker three here, takes a pop-up three, keeps a global tooltip, takes the icon three, and we have to change the location. So it was a little bit further. So let's exchange it here. Oh, that was the wrong one. This one and this one. And let's save it and run it and refresh it and hope it works. Yes, so actually here I got my second icon, my second marker with uh, the third pick here of Django. And actually I did an error here um, because actually this is the only picture which is uh, uh, which has a height of 600. So um, let's change it here in our iframe. Let, let's change the width to, to 400 plus 20 and the height to 600 plus 20 uh, and run it one last time, hopefully. Uh, and refresh it one last time, click it. And now you can see the aligned uh, iframe. Uh, let's move around again. Starting point, Django in the car. Next point, Django playing with another dog and Last picture, Django posing for the camera. Uh, that's it. Basically, have fun. Try this out for your next road trip, your next hiking tour, your next walk with your dog or whatever. And have fun. In case of any questions, feel free to ask them.